spirit cleanse your body. Okay? Let the water take away your earthly sins for your soul. I want you to trust, to trust the spirit that the Spirit will free your soul, free you from your earthly sins, from your past transgressions, and go with it then. Take it down slowly. Allow them, allow, allow. Dress ball or what? No, I don't think so. Huh? The local uniform, he says he might have a fair idea. Yeah. It's some sort of cult that lives across the bay. Right, so you reckon this guy could be one of them? No, he's not at all. He's a slave and his name's what? Andy. Uh, local family around here, long list of priors, armed rob, assault, stealing, uh, breaking Okay, why would a guy like that be in a cult? I don't know, it's a good question. I think there's got to be a dollar or two in it for them. Thanks, Chopper, I'll see you later. Chopper says he's been dead 8 to 12 hours. Head wound, blunt object. Yeah, you got a weapon? Nah, not yet. Did you see a car on your travels? Yeah. He's got keys to a Subaru. Yeah, just because he's got keys on him doesn't mean his car's here. Well, how else do you get out here? I mean, it's not as if it's accessible. Yeah, okay, bus. OK, OK. So, uh, have you got the address for the Slavin family? No, I don't think it'll be too hard, though. Just talk to the locals. Go around the side. Yeah. I interviewed the father last year after a bashing on the walls. Oh, yeah. His wife's dead, and I think he's got a daughter. Okay. Hello? Hang on. Hi. Let me guess, you guys are coppers, right? Detective Riley, St. Clair, Sydney Water Police. What the hell are we supposed to have done this time? And what's your name, ma'am? Hayley Slavin, what's this about, please? Miss Slavin, can we come inside? I'm afraid we've got some bad news. They wake up, the cops are here. Oh, piss off. Dad, they reckon I got some bad news. You've got to wake up. No, you go away. What do you want? Dad, wake I up. Said, go away. Joe, it's Detective Michael Riley. Sorry to bother you, Joe. This is my partner, Alex Sinclair. Hello, Mr. Slavin. Joe, I've got a very serious situation to talk to you about. You want to try sitting up for us? Your oldest son, Andrew, was found dead this morning. What? Not true. 
Yes, it is. The local police identified his body. Dad. Do either of you know where his Subaru is? Sorry, Jay. Help you, detective? How did you know I was a police officer? Your suit, your gun, your car, everything about you, mate. Uh, Michael Riley, Sydney Water Police. Peter Marchand. Hey, Peter, how are you? Mm -hmm. uh, look, I just need to ask you some questions about an incident that took place down by the bay last what, night. What, the neighbours been complaining again, have they? Uh, no, nothing like that. Okay. No, uh, a young man's been killed. Do you know a gentleman by the name of Andrew Slaven? Andrew Slaven. No, I don't. The main name means absolutely nothing to me. He's not a member of my family. Well, he was actually found tied to one of those boards that you have down here. And is these young boys carrying? And he's actually found wearing one of the white robes that you have hanging on the clothesline. Yeah, well, we use both of those in a cleansing ritual. And this is what you were doing yesterday down at the bay? Eh? Yes. What does that entail? You could compare it to initiation. A rite of passage, the end of one journey, the beginning of another. So like dunking people's heads no, underwater? No, not dunking people's head underwater. We free them. We free them from their earthly sins. We free them from past transgressions. Rebirth. Born again. Okay, with all due respect, I'd appreciate it if you could find out for me if one of those robes is missing. And also, if possible, I'd like to take one with me for forensic, just for comparison. Absolutely. Okay. Michael, do you understand? There's a lot of people who would like to see the end of me and my family. People with narrow vision, frightened people. Now, surely, with your kind of background, you'd understand that kind of prejudice. And how's that, Mr. Martin? Oh, come on, Michael. You know what I'm talking about. The son was found in the water in the National Park, Mr. Slaven. Do you have any idea what he'd be doing out there? Um, there is a cult operating close by there, maybe... He wasn't a bloody idiot. He wouldn't hang with idiots like that. OK. So when was the last time you saw him? Last night. Came for tea. Right. And what time did he go out? About ten. Yeah, in, in his car? Before you asked, no, I don't know where he was going. So it, um, it didn't bother you that he was out all night, did it? He's not a bloody kid anymore. Shut up, Hayley. Look, I think you better go. Listen, um, I'm going to have to ask your father some more questions when he's... Yeah, yeah, I'll let him know. Just go, please. Thanks. Thank you. OK, this marching bloke, did he know the victim? Well, he says no. But there's a robe missing, and you know that board that Andy was tied to? They've got a couple of them there. They use it for some sort of uh, cleansing ritual. <sighs> Sounds like this guy's got himself a nice little business going on out there. Huh, let me guess. A whole lot of young, good-looking girls running around, young boys, maybe? You're a bit of a cynic, aren't you? Now, listen, he seems like a pretty genuine guy. Listen, he invited us out to their open day, which is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he signed you up already, huh? I don't think so, Alex. Uh, nice. Different strokes. <laughs> How'd you go with the victim's car? Well, it's been circulated, but no news hey, yet. I just ran a check on the Slavin family, see who they've been dealing with lately, and I'll tell you, this thing reads like a novel. They run an exclusive family business, absolutely no outsiders, OK? Now, Joe's brother and former partner in crime is serving five years for occasioning actual bodily harm. He's got two sons, the deceased, Andy, and a younger one called Jake. Now, these guys aren't pretty, but there's not a murderer in the family. 
Okay, we speak to the younger brother. Now, what, what's this here, the unsolved one? What's oh, yeah. This? Four months ago, there was an armed rob at the TAB's head office. A quarter of a million dollars? Yeah. Money wasn't recovered, but these people were noted as persons of interest. Mr Slaven, we want to ask you about an armed robbery that your family was questioned about several months ago. I told you I don't know anything about that. What? A quarter of a million dollars? Now, the smart thing to do would be to sit on the money till the heat's off. Hide it somewhere, maybe bury it. Mr Slaven, do you have any idea what your son was doing in the National Park? I don't know. He was found in a white robe. What's he changing religion on you? Is he joking? You're a freaking idiot. No, you don't know anything. Sit down. I just want to find out who killed your son. Surely you want that too. Huh? Hey. Your older brother's in prison. Your eldest son's dead. You lose any more of your family, you can end up a very lonely old man. Do you want that? So how's your new love going then? Oh, we jogged to Watson's Bay last night. She's pretty fit. Mate, if I were you, I'd be saving my energy for something better than that. <laughs> like what? Mashing your veggies, Grandpa? Hey! Hey! Where'd she go? Where is he? I want him back. You think you're a holy man? You shit. You're nothing. What's going on? Joe's got a burn his body. He took a few swings at Mr. Marchand. That bloody weirdo's taken my son. I want him back. Look, you reckon Annie was dressed like some of those weirdos? Why aren't you hassling them, eh? Hey? Look at the morons. They're all brainwashed. My son Jake's brainwashed and I want him back. Give him back. Mm. I'm OK, I'm OK. You all right, Mr Marchand? Yeah. Okay. You want to press charges against no, Mr Slavin? No, I don't. Have you met Joe Slavin before? No, I haven't. He mentioned something about his son being a part of your family. Jake came to live with us three months ago. So he is a part of your family? He made a decision to break away from his past because of what his father did to him, because of what that man did to him. What's that, abuse? Michael, you have to ask Jake that. OK, then where is he? Oh, look, I don't run a prison here, Michael. People are free to come and go as they please. Does anyone know where Jake is? You should go, Michael. Leave us, please. When I came to see you earlier, you said to me that you did not know the name Slaven. Didn't you? But Michael, you did. he broke away from his past. Yeah, but you knew. What are you doing? Just get Jake to call me. Just take it. I'm really worried about him. I spoke to him last night. He reckons he wants to join the divers. and <laughs> put a chance of finding his mermaid. It's like seeing Speedos. Hey. What? Oh, mate, I was just checking to see if he'd grown fins. After being saved by a mermaid, I figured that he might have grown some. <laughs>
I guess you just never know when you're going to meet that certain special someone, do you, Gavin? Why don't you guys just try to stop being morons just for a minute and get back to doing some police work? That might be nice, yeah? Oh, Sarge? Mm-hmm. Listen, so, no, I was thinking about talking to the locals and uh, trying track it, try to track it down. I want to say thanks, that's all. Yeah, he wants to say thanks, Sarge. You thank her later. You've got to go to police studio. Uh, yeah. uh, hey, I was thinking of auditioning for that. Sarge, what am I going to do about this bruiser? Makes you look like Bruce Willis, bud. We call for makeup, Gavin. That's what you do. Yeah, off you go. We'll find your mermaid. Are you sure that no one in the cult knows Alex? No, I'm positive. Look, I think it's the only opportunity we're going to get to see what's going on up there. Open day. Oh, well, I guess everybody has to recruit. Alex, that cult, I don't know much about it, except they started in Adelaide about ten years ago and they moved up to Melbourne, largely because locals complained about their rituals. They moved up here about three months ago, again due to local protests. Merchant's clean. Look, I'm just going to have a little look around, see if I can find Jake Slavin. He's the only connection we have between the cult and his brother. Be careful. Hi. Hi. My name's Marie. Hi, Marie. I'm Alex. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Alex, is there um, anything in particular that you'd like to know about our family? Um, Actually, I'll, I'll tell you the truth, Marie. I'm just kind of curious. I just wanted to, you know, have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Most people are, Alex. They, they sense that there's something missing in their lives. Yeah. And, and that's the very something that we found here. Is that right? Yeah. Huh. Hello. Hello. Peter. Alex. I'm Marie's father. Uh-huh. So, you're looking for something? Aren't we all, Mr. Merchant? Yes. What brought you here today? Well, I'll see you later. Thank you. It's okay. Uh, you know, I, do, I don't know exactly. Something just told me I wanted to come here and have a look. That's exactly how most people come to us, Alex. Really? Yes. Good. Something speaks to them. The spirit. You heard the voice of yearning, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Spot. We live a simple life, Alex. Do you want to sit down? Yeah. No television. No radio. So if you, you guys don't have um have a have a television or a radio, what what do you do to uh, amuse yourselves? We talk. We talk, Alex. And we listen. And we find that, that that's the thing that makes the big difference. Listening. Alex, why don't you just sit yeah. down? Come, make yourself comfortable. Yes. Okay. Just excuse me one moment. Yes. No, no, no. It's okay. Who are you? 
Detective St. Clair, Sydney Water Police. <clears throat> I've got my ID. It's OK. And what are you doing here? I want to speak to Jake Slavin. Why didn't you just ask me? OK, Jake, tell me about your brother. What was he doing in the National Park? I, I don't know. It does seem strange, doesn't it? Mm. It's been a while since I've seen him. You're on bad terms, are you, Jake? Well, your brother's just been murdered and you don't seem very upset. We didn't see each other much. I have a new family now. And how did he feel about this new family? Who knows? Who cares? You should care! Your brother was murdered and he was found in a robe. And that points the finger directly at the cult that you're a member of. Hello, Jake. You should care. Is that why he died, Jake? Trying to get you to leave? Look, it didn't matter to Andy what I did. All he cared about was money. As in a quarter of a million dollars? See, your family was investigated about a robbery a couple of months ago. Jake, the money was never found. I don't know anything about that. So you weren't questioned by the police? You know I was questioned by the police. Well? I told them what I'm telling you. I don't know anything about that. Come on, Jake. Your family was implicated in a robbery and How you... many times do I have to tell you that they are not my family anymore? Jake Slavin's record's clear. Not even a juvenile charge. Well, this kid's got to be adopted then. Andy Slavin's forensic crime scene reports. No surprises there either. You know, facial bruises, fractured skull. He was dead before he hit the water. Soil samples from the victim consistent with the crime scene, blah, blah, blah. Soil material also contained reasonable amount of bilirubin, a substance which indicates human feces. Oh. And this is really odd. I wouldn't mind checking out the crime scene again. OK, well, listen, you take care of Jake, or I'll do the filing. And I'll right. see you there, OK? OK. Hey, Sykes is going to be on police TV any minute. Excellent. Can't miss that, Mick. The series of break and enters in the inner city is reaching epidemic proportions, with 14 being reported in the last eight days. Police in relation to a number of frauds. <laughs> <laughs> it is alleged Stevenson takes on specialty nursing of the elderly and infirm. How did you get involved with March and Jake? You wouldn't understand. I wouldn't understand. Why don't you try me? <laughs> if I stayed with Dad, mm -hmm. I would have been next in line for a jail cell, just like my uncle. Or I would have been dead like Andy. Okay. So I, I listened when the voice inside me told me I wanted something more. So have you found what you're looking for? Is it here? Huh? Marie's here. Marie's here. Martin's daughter, right? She's my soulmate. Open day. Honey, what's wrong? Hey? What's wrong? Did somebody hurt you? you? Okay? Did your father do something to you? That's disgusting! 
You make friends wherever you go, don't you, detective? Marie, why don't you come with me? I can help you. You're being a bit dramatic. Hey, you're safe with me. Alex, your prejudice contaminates everything you see. No, no. what I see... No, what I see is a frightened young girl. Did, as a teenager, did you ever run away from your parents upset? Were you ever upset? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's what's happening here. I wouldn't do anything to hurt my daughter. You have got to understand that. Please. Sure, it's her. You saved my life, man. If it gave sure it's off old ladies. You should be arresting and not thanking her. What's going on? Sir, I'm just uh, running a check on a lady I was doing a story on today. Uh, the nurse who was ripping off the old people. An unauthorized check? Thing is, sir, I. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the lady who pulled me out of the water yesterday. Then you should make your suspicions known to the Victorian police. You're not doing this as a favour to someone, are you, Sykes? No, I'm not, sir. Might have suggested yellow pages. Under higher bats. She might have rented a windsurfer. I reckon I had this feeling that Marie, she wanted to come with me. I, I just sensed something in her eyes. And? and? I reckon she's frightened of her dad. Yeah, well, I used to get frightened of my dad when I got in the blue. He was a bloody yeah? maniac. Well, no, 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 no this, this is more than that. OK, well, look, if you're that worried, why don't you call up Docs? Maybe Doc. they might be able to find yeah, some I would, evidence I would. of abuse. If I thought it would make any difference, I would. You know, she's not ten. Where is his bloody car? I don't know, but what's that? I don't know. Looks like a septic tank. Is there a house built around here somewhere? Hey, septic tank, crime scene report, soil on his hands consistent with faeces. Hey, a track, they had access. So you can get a car in here? Uh-huh. Let's see here. Oh, stinks. Whoa! Oh, look, Rick. <coughs> Is that right? Here, 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 give me, give me, give me, oh, give me, give me. That give me. stinks. <coughs> No, it's like an old artillery box or something. Hang on a minute. Oh, that mm. stinks, eh? Uh, well, Empty. Nothing in that. No. Mr. Slaven. You won't get much sense out of him today. Is that right? Hey, Joe. Mind if I have a seat? We just want to ask you about an artillery box that we found in a waste pit near where Andy was killed. Well, the thing is, your fingerprints are on them and so are Andy's. How can you explain that? Well, Andy kept all his tools in an old box. Well, there was a third set of prints. I thought you might be able to help me out with who they might belong to. See, the box was empty, so uh, maybe you were there picking something up. Like money from the robbery. Joe? You all right, Joe? The bike was a project of Andy's. He built it up from spare parts. You've done it from telling them everything! Can I speak to you inside, please? Have you ever been to the National Park with your brother Andy or your father Jonas? Like? No. So you've never been there before? Don't get much time for bushwalking. Since Mum died, don't get much time for anything, really. Well, can you tell us about this robbery at the TAB? It's nothing to do with me. No, we well, see, we think the missing money has something to do with your brother's death. There is no missing money because my father and my brothers never robbed no TAB, OK? Well, how do you think your brother's toolbox got in the septic tank at the National Park? How would I bloody know? Even if they did rob that place, which they didn't, do you reckon they'd tell me? I'm a chick. Girls are seen but not heard. Excellent. Excellent. So you don't mind that we get your fingerprints, then we can discount you as a suspect altogether, yeah? Piss off. What? I beg your pardon? What did you say? Let's go, Alex. He's losing it. We 
we're going to pray for the souls of these two people, Jake and Marie. They bird, and we're here to cleanse them. What are they up to? Yeah, look, we'll talk to them when they're finished. Just hang on a minute. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, all right. We'll wait for them. Go. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Allow. Allow it. Just relax. Relax. Let it happen. Let it be. Allow, let your soul be free. No, no, he's going to drown him. No, he's, that, no, but that's enough. No, no, that is enough. No, 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 you don't understand. Don't piss off. Don't piss off. Don't piss off. Get piss off. It's done. It's good. It's done. It's done. Get it out. It's done. Okay. Mate, I need to speak to you. For nothing to say to you. Hey, it's not that easy, mate. Come on. I'm under 80. If you don't have anything on me. Haley Slavin's been picked up for car theft. Looks like you're going to get a fingerprint after all. Okay, we'll be right in. Thank you. Looks like Haley Slavin's just tried to do a runner. You want to tell us where you were going? Tan's fading, need a holiday. Your brother is dead. Your father, he, he's an absolute mess, and you decide this is a nice time to take a holiday. Doesn't look good, Haley. We're well, in a hurry to get somewhere, are you, Haley? Yeah, out of here. Look, you got me on car theft, okay? Can I go? No. no. Not until your fingerprint result comes back. No, bad luck. Be interesting when that comes back, won't it? Oh, yeah. Are you interested, Haley? Stay right there. Prints aren't hers. Oh, what? God, that means it's back to Jake Slavin and he has no interest in talking to us again. Look, she, she knows something about her brother's death. I put money on it. You'll have to let her go, Alex. You've got no reason to hold her here. OK. All right. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. I say we let her go and we see where it leads us. Good idea. Yeah? All right, do that then. Look at that lovely pond there. Where is it? Oh, awesome. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes, Elizabeth yes. Stevenson? Oh, hi. Um, look, I'll just be one minute, Mrs. Flannery. Hi. I'm Gavin. I'm Senior Constable Gavin Sykes. It's <sighs> a nasty bruise you got there. Someone get a look at that? Yeah. So, look, <laughs> well, how did you find me? It wasn't that hard. Look, I just wanted to say thank you for yesterday. I mean, you saved my life. Well, I could say it's part of my job, you know, looking after people and all that. Must come pretty naturally to you, helping people. It's a... It's a big responsibility, being a nurse. It's, especially in other people's homes. I manage. Oh, look, it's getting cold. I've yeah. got to get her inside. Okay. Oh, thanks. So his wife's dead, his son's dead, he's got a brother in jail, another son's run away, now his daughter. I mean, he must have been a right bastard in a past life. He's doing a pretty good job of being one in this life. Yeah. Hello, Haley. Looks like she's found the colour she likes. Gee, she's going <clears throat> good. Water Police 200, VKG Sydney. Water Police, we are in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. It is a white Holden Premier. Number plates PYB488. Known suspect, Haley Slavin. She's driving south down Blackers Drive towards a national park. Copy? Copy that, Water Police 200.
Elizabeth Stevenson? You're under arrest for obtaining money by deception. You're not obliged to say or do anything unless you wish to do so. Gavin! Anything you do or say will be used as evidence. Do you understand? Do you understand, Miss Stevenson? Yes, I understand. You'll be taken to the station and charged. So you think your visit was just a reconnaissance, hey? Is that right, Gavin? One good deed deserves another, yeah? I told you she'd never leave her father. She'll be here. But we don't have time for this. Let's just get the money and get out of here. It's not here. Lisa Maru and his car, you go that way. Let's work out. Bloody Marie's taking it then. She wouldn't do that. Well, why isn't she here to meet us, Jay? No, she's. Hayley, stop it! Okay, Look, you do your own arrest. Hey, hold it! Michael! You're under arrest. What's the story? Okay, the car's been identified as the victim's. We found bolt cutters in the boot and a broken padlock on the car floor. Yes, yeah, so whoever opened the ammunition box didn't have a key. Hmm. I take it you've asked the father into witness the interview. He's still a juvenile. We are not talking happy families here, Chief. Jake joined the cult to get away from his father. Oh, I don't care. I don't want one question asked of that boy without somebody else being there. Is that clear, Riley? Yes, Chief. By the book, son. Miss Slaven, we heard you talking about money. Guess you need your ears cleaned out then. Really? So when you accused Jake's girlfriend of taking it, we imagined that too, did we? Guess so. Hey, give it up. Where were you and Jake going? On a holiday, OK? Is that a crime? Yeah, it is, actually, if you were going to finance your trip with stolen money and use a stolen car. I don't know what you're talking about. Murder. Your brother's murder, to be precise. Come on, Hayley. What, you and Jake, you, you meet by your brother's car, you, you talk about the money. Oh, my lord. Mm. So, uh, were you in on this together from the start? Mm. Did you kill Andy? No. Oh, so it was Jake then. Like Andy turns up, him and Jake. No, Jake's a, bit of a an good argument. kid, okay? Leave him out of it. He was with me the night of the murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> My print's on on that stupid box. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do have something, actually. We've got you on two counts of car theft. Sure. That's enough for us. Ooh. Thank you very much, Miss Slavin. I want to see a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, I would too. I think you should. So you had the money from the robbery? No. But you went to get it from the waste pit. You opened the box with a pair of bolt cutters. Then what happened? Andy turned up. Uh, you lost your temper. You got into a bit of an argument. No, it wasn't like that. OK, why don't you just tell us how it was then? Jake, your fingerprints are all over the box. The tyre tracks, they match your brother's car. We know you were there. We know he was there. So why don't you just tell us what happened? All I wanted was to live a normal life. And no guns, no trouble. With Marie? Yeah. I wanted to take her away and marry her, maybe. I don't know. But you need a bit of money to do that. And a quarter of a million dollars. That would have set you and Marie up just beautifully. And you wanted a new life badly enough that you'd kill your brother for no! it. No! I loved Andy. So it was an accident then, is that what you're saying? You killed him, and then you dressed him up as one of the Marchand family, so we'd all believe it was the cult? Yeah, yeah then you and Marie, you'd just be long gone. Oh, out of there. You just don't understand. Well, why don't you help us understand? OK? So what did you do? Would you hit Andy with a rock or a piece of wood? What, he turned up and you smacked him around the back of the head? I didn't mean it. It's the booze. Dad. Andy and me, we both got bad tempers. Dad, shut up. Jake, shut up. Hey. My poor boy <laughs> died in my arms. It's grief. And he thought we'd set on the money long enough. He wanted to get his bike fixed and go up north. Kids, they never listen to their parents, eh? I was holding Andy like I did when he was a baby. And he was gone. I didn't ever say I was sorry or anything. He was just in there. And... No, Joe, how did Jake get involved in this? He had the same idea. He's got to take the money and run. I didn't think Jake had it in him. He came and took Andy out of my arms, dressed him up in the robe. 
I lost my temper, and now my son's dead. Dad loved Andy. He did. He's going to jail after all. Looks like it runs in the blood. Yeah. The question is, if Jake doesn't have the money, and if his father doesn't have the money, then where's the money? Alex, look at this. Why? $100 note, or at least part of one. You don't think Marchand, he would have, he would have burnt a quarter of a million dollars? Nah, he's not that bad. 